where we bring all the water samples that we just collected for processing. Um, in this lab, we're studying the harmful algal blooms in Lake Erie, which are halves in Lake Erie. Currently, there is a NOAA HADS bulletin that comes out that tells everyone that predicted amount of algae, but we don't know uh, the top amount of the toxin the algae would create. And it's the microcystis toxin, and it's a liver toxin. So when that's in our drinking water, it creates do not drink advisories. So one of the things we're trying to do is find a way to predict how much, how to tell where that toxin will be and how much of that toxin will be there. So this machine is our flow cam. Uh, you pour your plankton sample through this tube. So it'll magnify the sample and there's also a camera in there. So it'll take photos of the sample as it's being pulled through. Um, it takes about 20 photos a second and then the computer will automatically sort your algae based on type. So this is our cast cube machine. Um, this machine is used to find out how much of the microcystin toxin is in our lake sample. And it will pipette reagents, which will cause a color change if the microcystin toxin is present. And it will be able to read how much of the color changed and let us know how much of the toxin is in our sample. This is our nutrient analyzer. So the filtered samples that we had collected in the lake will come in here and we'll analyze them for five different nutrients. We have nitrate, nitrite, ammonium, silica, and phosphate. Um, we're most concerned with the nitrogen and the phosphorus for the Lake Erie samples because those are chemicals that the algae will use to grow. Yeah, she's getting a lot. There's over there. Oh, big one. Whoa. Okay, now when you go to watch your toes, watch your toes, 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 toes. toes, toes, toes. There you go. This is your classic like your water stuff. Okay. So she's totally, see how she's totally unbanded. Yeah. No markings. Nothing on the vent either for the most part. So that, and then so she's actually recaptured too. I can see her pit tag. Can you see it? Yeah. Right there. There we go. Yeah. So. Why does that help? Why is it? Uh, just because we're looking at like the reoccurrence of it. Water snakes? Do they have a sign that says that? Um, I don't know. Oh, sorry. Is that like that? Yeah. So she is, she is running that is basically just a sterile swab or q-tip along her dorsal side and she's the standard protocol is roughly eight passes so we kind of end up doing a little bit more than that we yeah. Yeah. along her dorsal side mm. and then we're gonna look at her vent so her vent she's got some other some dark lesions they're real obvious because she's got that nice white belly but yeah, those are all ventral lesions. And those are very obvious signs. And then look at the head, all this. That's pretty severe mm. SFD. Yeah, that's great. 
So you guys Do you have anywhere to put it? I have a trash container right over here. Will it be recycled? I will make sure it's recycled. Aaron, did you want a bag or anything, buddy? I want small. Yeah. Are the largest phosphorus fillers in the western part of the lake here? So basically, Wallonie's bringing in about 87% of the phosphorus, and the Sandusky is bringing in about 93% of the phosphorus. Okay? We get commercial fishermen, they come in, they bring in big adult male fish, big adult female fish. What we'll do, there's actually a picture here we can look at in a second. They can actually squeeze these fish. They can squeeze out the eggs of the female, they can squeeze out the milk of the male, and they go into a pool like this here. For some reason, we found out that this guy here, this little feather, was really, really, really good at mixing together the milk, the eggs, and fertilizing those eggs. From what I understand, this is still a pretty common method. like diatoms because that sets the food base, right? Remember, 50% of all fish biomass in the Great Lakes is here in Lake Erie. That's because we have a lot of phytoplankton. So the guy up top here, anyone know what this is called? That makes you really know your fish. Daniel, come look at it. It'll sink up to her pulse. Well, yeah, it's going to be 